Uh, Shalom, you know, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rechak, Dash, double honors unto the apostles, the elders of the great millstone, peace and salutation unto the Akim, unto the elect, that's God across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth and faith and sincerity. All right, basically today, you know, I wanted to touch on the topic of proving that, you know, we are not Africans, bro. We are Hebrew Israelites, all right? The twelve tribes of Israel, which was was begin right, through Jacob, whose name was changed unto Israel. You know, because it's a lot of our people that still believe that they are Africans. You know, they still think that they are Egyptians, that we were those people ruling. You know, back then during those times. But no, all right, in Egypt. We were slaves under the Egyptians. All right, our people went through hell because of the Egyptians. All right, under that Egyptian captivity, all right, we suffered a lot of things. All right, so you know, it's kind of fucked up. You know, now people be saying that they that they was Egyptians, that the Egyptians was uh, the best civilization. You know, things like that. And that they was the uh, the greatest people. No, no, no. The most I said he chose the Israelites above all nations, alright, and they was above all nations. Alright, this is uh let me get that real quick. This is Deuteronomy seven and six. It says for thou art and holy people unto Yahweh thy power. Yahweh thy power had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth all right so this is talking about the israelites all right they are above all people that are upon the face of the earth all right not the egyptians all right the israelites all right because when you go into the um the egyptians basically their progenitor is ham all right ham you know he had four sons you know this is uh mizraim which is um, Cush, Foot, and uh, Canaan. All right. Which Mizraim represents the Egyptians. Cush is the Ethiopians. And um, Foot is the North Africans. And Canaan is the South Africans. All right. We are not in there. All right. We are not, you know, labeled, you know, as the children of Ham. We come out of the line of Shem. All right. Because Noah... He had three sons, him, Shem, and Japheth. All right, that's how the earth was repopulated through these three sons. And we came out of Shem, and the Africa came out of Ham. We are totally different people. All right. Because if you read this book called From Babylon to Timbuktu, right here, as I got, as you can see it, all right, it lets, it lets you, you know what happened and how... We got into that to the land of Africa, and right, how you know when we was brought there, brought from there as slaves. It, it lets us know, you know, what we were doing over there and how we got over there. Now I'm going to read a page from it. This is um, from Babylon to Timbuktu, page 84. Well, I'm going to read this highlighted paragraph right here. It says, in the year 65 B.C., the Roman armies under General Pompey captured Jerusalem. In 70 A.D., General Vespasian and his son. Titus put an end to the Jewish state with great slaughter. During the period of the military governors of Palestine, many outrages and atrocities were committed against the residue of the people. During the during the period from Pompey to Julius, it has been estimated that over one million Jews fled to Africa, fleeing from Roman persecution and slavery. The slave markets were full of black Jewish slaves. All right, so. As, as this paragraph just stated, all right, we fled into Africa, all right, 70 AD, fleeing from Roman persecution. All right, because the Romans came up against us, just like it just said, General Vespasian and Titus, all right, came up against us, and we fled into that land. We were not originally from there. All right. We fled from Jerusalem. Okay. That's that's what the Israelites fled from. We fled from there into Africa. All right. 
everything because we knew anyways that these people look similar unto us so we ran into that land knowing that we could blend in amongst them all right because we got the same you know same features you know basically the dark skin you know the wool hair i said they were gonna be able to tell the difference so we fled there and it says that the slave markets were full of black jewish slaves all right which we're not jewish we are the jews the true jews all right which to be a jew basically you have to be from the southern kingdom you know but the word jew comes from judah all right which is the head tribe of israel all right but yeah during during slavery all right the, the slaves that were brought over here to america were israelites all right that's you know it's this um And in Deuteronomy 28 chapter and the 68 verse you know it says that in your house shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship into Egypt is talking about slavery all right because the Israelites it's, it's, it's never it's not a record all right anywhere that states that the Israelite went back into Egypt all right and it says again with ships all right, and you didn't have to use no ships to go to Egypt. All right, our people walk back and forth. He said, by the way, we're break unto thee. Thou shalt see no more again. We're talking about the land. All right, he says, and there you shall be sold unto your enemies, for bond men and bond women, slave men and slave women. He says, no man shall buy you, men and slave us. All right, no man going to save us out of this condition. Sorry, but this was a curse put on the Israelites that that they went into slavery. Okay. So we were brought from over there to over here because of this curse, which further proves that we are the Israelites and not the Africans because this curse was not put on the Hamites or the Africans. It was put on the Israelites. All right. All right, that's why people think that, you know, people, a lot of people today say the Africans sold Africans into slavery, but no, the Africans sold the Israelites into slavery because... They they knew that we were a different people, all right. But we 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 looked the same as them. But they knew who we were. Yeah, because if you go to um Deuteronomy the seventh chapter, all right, they was our enemies. We casted them out of the land of Canaan. We threw them out of that land. The Most High instructed us, commanded us, you know, to go up against them and cast them up out of that land. And they were doing all kind of filthy, wicked abominations in that land. Right, and that, that land belonged to us. So they had to go. It's Deuteronomy 71. It says, When you have that power shall bring thee into the land, whether thou goest to possess it, and had cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites, and the Girgashites, and the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than thou. And when Yahweh thy power shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor show mercy unto them. All right. So we were commanded to destroy these motherfuckers, all right? To get them up out of there. All right. And all those nations that I named, well, all those, those, um, yeah, the nations that I named, those go back. Basically, they all fucking Hamites. All right. They're all Hamites. They're all Africans. All right. We casted them up out of that land because the Most High instructed us to do so. All right. So we got a, we got a long history with going up against them. All right. Like with, with David and Goliath. Goliath was a Philistine. All right. That's, that's a Hamite too. All right. So we had a long history of going up against these, these, um, these Hamites, these so-called Africans. All right, we're not the same people as them. We are enemies. All right, even though Moses was mistook for an Egyptian. All right, and I get that. Then um, Exodus 2. And uh, I started at 15, no, 16. It says, Now the priest of Midian had seven daughters, and they came and drew water and filled the troughs to water their father's flock. And the shepherds came and drove them away. But Moses stood up and helped them and watered their flock. 
And when they came to Ruel, their father, he said, how is it that you have come so soon today? And they said, an Egyptian delivered us out of the hand of the shepherds and also drew water enough for us and watered the flock. So Moses helped, you know, the priests of Midian daughters, whatever. And they went back to their father and they said, an Egyptian helped us. And why did they call him an Egyptian? Because of his of his skin tone, all right. Because he looked similar to the Egyptians. Moses was raised in Egypt. All right, he came up in Egypt. All right, he says that Pharaoh made Pharaoh's daughter made made him her son. All right, and we know that the Egyptians were dark skinned so Moses had to be dark skinned All right, but you know if you go up. I'll just read it. This is on Exodus 2 and 1. It says, And there went a man of the house of Levi and took the wife of a daughter of Levi. All right. They're from the tribe of Levi. All right. One of the 12 tribes of Israel. The, uh, the priests. All right. It says, And the woman conceived and bare a son. And when she saw him, that he was a goodly child, she hid him three months. All right. So this is talking about a child. All right. You scroll down to verse 10 to tell you who that child was. It says, And that child grew. And she brought him up to Pharaoh's daughter, and he became her son. And she called his name Moses. And she said, Because I drew him out of the water. Alright, so Moses' father was of the tribe of Levi. And his mother was of the tribe of Levi. So Moses was an Israelite, even though he was mistaken for an Egyptian. Alright, and Paul also was mistaken for an Egyptian. In Acts, the 21st chapter, uh, should be 37 verse. Uh, yeah, it's Acts 21 and 37 It says And as Paul was to be led to the castle He said unto the chief captain May I speak unto thee Who said Canst thou speak Greek Art not thou that Egyptian Which before these days Made us an uproar And led us out into the wilderness Four thousand men that were murderers But Paul said I am a man which I made Jew A Jew Of Tarsus A city in Cilicia A citizen of the mean city So Paul was like Hell no nah, bro I'm a Jew Alright <laughs> you know, I ain't no damn African. You know, basically. All right, because Paul tells you what tribe he was from. All right, this is Romans 11. One, it says, I say, then had the most I cast away his people. The most I forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham with the tribe of Benjamin. All right, so Paul was of the tribe of Benjamin. All right. That's what tribe he was from. Paul was an Israelite. All right. And... He said that he was a Jew, which means that he was from the Southern Kingdom. All right, the Southern Kingdom consists of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. All right, but the real Jew comes from Judah. All right, you know Judah, one of the sons of Jacob. You know the head, the head tribe of the twelve tribes of Israel. Right, that's where you get that word Jew from. All right, and this is uh, Exodus. Well, first I'll get. Um, This is the um a book. The um, it's on the compact Bible dictionary. I just want to get the word Ham. Right, it says Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of the eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, the Ethiopians, the Libyans, and the Canaanites. So. I got stated before, Ham, we didn't come from Ham, okay? Even though we look similar to these people, we are not the same. They got a totally different spirit from us, all right? They got a weird spirit on them, all right? You can tell the fucking Hamite when you look at them. But uh, this is uh, last scripture, Exodus 11 and 7. It says, but against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast. He may know how that Yahweh, all right, the red Lord in all Catholics, Yahweh is his heavenly father's true name, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. All right, it says, I, I read it over, it says, but against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast, that ye may know how that Yahweh does put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. It's the difference between us and the Africans. We're not the same people. We are greater than them. All right. And after this world or this kingdom perish, we will be ruling over them. All right. They will be underneath us. 
you will not see you know africans ruling with us in the kingdom of heaven which will be on earth all right no hammers would be no policy all right <laughs> calling shots you know telling other israelites what to do and shit like that or, or giving out orders well they they're gonna be like our our um What's the, what's the word for I think it's taskmasters uh, Something like that But basically they're going to be over the Edomites You know They're going to they're gonna issue We're going to give the Hamites the orders And they're going to tell you know other people what to do So forth so forth Like that All right, But no fucking Hamites are going to be kings In the kingdom of heaven Because only the Israelites will be a nation All right, A kings and priests Only an Israelite man will be a king no hell might be. Or you know. You know, with that, you know, you go know, all praise on the glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakudash, Devil honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and citations to the occupant, to the elect, scattered across the four corners of the earth, you know, risking their lives to do so, you know. Shalom.